The Friday Philip is brought to you by Charter Spectrum. It's another Friday fill-up here on This and That. If you're looking for delicious desserts, Southern hospitality, 175-year-old recipes made from scratch entrees, look no further than the Cookie Jar Cafe in Dunlap, Tennessee. building my sister and I were swapping houses and she had a small collection of cookie jars she had about 150 then and we didn't want to move the jars a thousand times so my mom said why don't we just put a shelf up and put them in the restaurant and lo and behold that's what we did and now we have a little over 500 it was such a whirlwind that we don't really remember a whole lot of it but it was so amazing and we've been so blessed Everybody thought we were crazy because we're in the middle of nowhere. And it has just went completely uphill from there. It's soared because my grandmother was famous for her country meals. So instead of doing that, we decided that we would give what the community input was a try and we opened a restaurant. None of us had any restaurant experience except for me and I had served for like two years in a restaurant in Brentwood and that's about it. So we had to just go by our instincts of family cooking and Southern hospitality and go from there. Your mamma, some of the, some of her favorite recipes that she's so famous for. Tell us about those. One is our baked chicken. We serve it every Tuesday here. We take a chicken breast and we dip it in butter and roll it in cracker crumbs. It's actually the simplest thing ever, but it's so good and we sell out every Tuesday. Another one is our chicken casserole and it became so popular because it's like a chicken and dressing that we actually serve it two days. We serve it on Fridays and Sundays. All right. Your customers that's been coming here for years, the number one dish, what is it? Grilled meatloaf. Tell us about the grilled meatloaf. It actually happened on accident. We have a meatloaf recipe that we've always used. Well, when we first opened, we were baking it in actual loaves, and we had some left. So we don't waste anything here. We have absolutely no food waste whatsoever. So what we did is we started slicing it and warming it back up on the grill. And our customers went crazy. It was absolutely amazing. And so it has stuck ever since then. So we actually put it on the menu. Most everything we make here is homemade. We make our own sourdough rolls, our own cornbread that we serve with every meal. Um, chicken livers is another very popular dish. We hand batter everything here. Um, like I said, all of our vegetables are made from scratch. We even cook the beans from like dried pinto beans and dried white beans. Um, my favorite dish would probably be potato patties. And we make them every once in a while. And she takes leftover mashed potatoes and adds all kinds of spices and chives and stuff to them and then fries them in grease. And it's the best thing ever. <laughs> Our desserts are all homemade. We even make our pie crust for our cream pies. We have four different kinds of cream pies that we keep daily. <laughs> we have what we call torts, and they're a layered dessert. They're in like nine by 13 glass dishes. And then we have cupcakes. We keep all different flavors of cupcakes. And every time you come in, you'll probably see a different flavor because those change daily. And we also keep three layer cakes on hand. We do have a petting zoo. We have all kinds of domestic farm animals. We've got goats and chickens, pigs, a mule, so we have play equipment, so it just gives the kids something to do while they're having to wait or an incentive to eat their vegetables so they can go play after they're done. But it's just so relaxing and it's just a whole nother world over here across the mountain. Oh, I love sitting down and, and chit-chatting with uh, Sue Ann. I, I love her laugh, too. Love her fried chicken. Mm, yeah, cookie jar. What, it is just, what, a 25-minute drive uh, from Chattanooga? 1887 Kelly Cross Road in Dunlap, Tennessee, the cookiejarcafe.com. Over 500 cookie jars in that restaurant. Unbelievable.